Hey, what's going on, NFL fans, Atlanta Falcon fans? This your boy, Antoine Smith, Smith, Smith Sports Machine. Y'all not get down, man. Y'all know how to do it. Press that subscribe button. Also, press that notification bell. And get my videos as soon as I drop them. Press that like button to help me get my video through the YouTube universe via your recommendations. But right quick, very quick, Atlanta Falcons news. The Falcons have signed Peter Pan. Nah, I'm just kidding, man. They signed uh, Jaleel Johnson. Defensive tackle, uh, formerly of the Houston Texans and Minnesota Vikings, and he's been around for a minute, five years now, and it doesn't sound like a long time, but in the NFL, it's a lifetime. Uh, but if you're wondering about this guy, man, um, two years ago in 2020, in this COVID season, as we call it, he started 16 games for the Vikings, and that's no you know, slouch, man, because the NFL, man, it's tough to stay on the field. But uh, at 6'3", 315 pounds, man, uh, I think uh, he's going to be a practice squad player. Uh, and if they call him up, uh, he could get a couple of starts on his belt or he could come in as a rotational player. But, again, 2020 is his most productive season in the NFL in Minnesota. Um, he started all 16 games. And let's be real, in the NFL – once you have the chance, you better take advantage of it. And I think he did a decent job with 44 tackles in the second and a half that season. Uh, three tackles for losses. So he had a pretty solid season because, uh, like I said, man, uh, sometimes number don't tell the whole story because I'm pretty sure he was started in the run game. And right now, as I see what the Falcons are doing defensively, uh, they're putting bigger guys up front. Because if y'all didn't notice against Cleveland, they had Anthony Rush slide over to the defensive end spot. Uh, and that helped the Falcons set the edge against Nick Chubb uh, running to that side of the field. Um, go back and look at the film. You'll see it. So I think a bigger offensive line uh, is what Dean P is going to do uh, going forward. And you've seen this in Baltimore uh, with Haloti Nada playing the nose tackle and the defensive end position uh, to help out Terrell Suggs. Uh, so, Dean Pease is going to use these guys the best he can. Uh, but in 2021, in Houston, um, Jaleel Johnson played in 12 games, uh, had 23 tackles, uh, fumble recovery, and two tackle for losses. Uh, so, his stats dwindled a little bit, but he was still productive in a rotation on the Houston Texans, which was one of the worst football teams uh, in the league last year. Uh, but comes into Atlanta, I think Arthur Smith is going to keep doing this, uh, rotating players in and out, flip-flopping until he finds that right combination. And I don't blame him uh, because Caleb Huntley, one of those practice squad players, he kept around, brought back, um, had a breakout game, 10 carries, 56 yards and a touchdown, and was the Falcons player of the game. So he's going to keep trying to find these practice squad players, guys that are going to want to come in, that are hungry, that want to play, uh, keep competing for a job because competition is everything, man. When you find those guys uh, that can compete and come out hungry with a chip on their shoulder, hey, you find gems that way. And also, it helps with the salary cap. So think about that. But Jaleel Johnson signed to the practice squad, and uh, I kind of think it was a good move. But tell me what y'all think, man, uh, because – the defensive line, man, uh, is getting better and better each game. And with all the injuries Tampa Bay has on that offensive line, I think the Falcons going to take advantage of that. So look for a big game from Grady Jerry or Lorenzo Carter uh, because I'm licking my chops with those guys uh, from the injuries that the Bucks have on that offensive line. What? Drop those comments. Let's debate. Let's have fun, man. It's your boy Antoine. Smitty Smith, Smitty Sports Machine. 